Um, well, we, we, we have um, a lot of coaches. Well, Tim Cohn is, is part of it now. Um, Goldwyn also is part, but Goldwyn, I think, is training UP, so he won't be able to join us this time. So we have enough coaches naman that, are, that are there. Uh, uh, Coach Jong Yu Chico, who's also uh, been a strong pillar of the coaching commission of the SBP, is still around. Um, so Chot is getting a lot of help. Okay, about your contributions to Coach Nenad? He's, you know, I have nothing to say about Nenad, but all praises. No? He's, he's been a very good uh, coach, um, very principled person. Um, a lot of conversations I had with him. Uh, I just spoke to him also last na uh, yesterday before he left. And, um, you know, he's, it's good to hear from him from him directly, but uh, you know we had a good conversation, and he did say that if there's any opportunity in the future that we can you know we can still work together. He's looking forward to that. He just has some uh, commitments that he wants to to, to, to go after now. Uh, but as I, as I said, he said he was willing to come back anytime in, in the future. But but great great person, great great man, and very principled person. Did you share some like thoughts about what he thinks about the program during your conversation with him? Well, well, he, he feels that that we we obviously um, it's it's always a work in progress. Uh, he's he's part of the process where he was coaching also the friendlies and the windows in um, what was that the third window right? He coached the third window. Uh, he he loves all the Gilas players for sure. Um, again, it's it's really just. Having the players available, uh, I guess, for those windows, and that was that has been the major effort um, that, that we have been doing. Um, August one, we had a major board meeting where we got in also all the support from all the stakeholders um, that that um, have committed to really commit to the program. There are, there are certain challenges still, obviously for November and February. We're trying to find a way to really put a team together then, um, but we're also getting some commitments from the stakeholders to. Make, make players available so, so we're working on that more importantly I think um, is the agreement for really next year you know, the World Cup where the PBA will stop sometime late April and I think that's a big sacrifice for the PBA thank you to all the owners of the PBA and the governors um, that is a sacrifice of, of three months at least um, of uh, no PBA but focusing on the national team and we're also getting the same from um, the Gilas players who are in Japan um, having, having, having committed also for those three months, um, we will have to make a decision on who the naturalized player is. But Jordan has also committed to be part of that six weeks to the to the August tournament. So you know, the, the, the team will, will be practicing for two months almost, and then Jordan comes in if that's the option uh, six weeks before. So I think that's a lot of time. And of course, we want impending two years preparation, right? But uh, you know, it's. It's the cards that are, we're dealt with and we're working very hard to, to make it happen for, for us. And at the same time, let's not forget, I think there's a major effort in hosting. Um, and, and, and one is the team itself, but the SBP is very busy on ensuring that we are able to host the best World Cup ever that, that we can host. And uh, that's a lot of effort also from the SBP. Um, big, big effort and big expenses, honestly.